Good morning, good morning. Um, hope you guys are good. It's a Sunday, it's a beautiful Sunday. But um, I'd like you to give me a few minutes of your time. I would like to talk about the incidences that I've just heard of, the unfortunate incidences. I'll start with Patrick Shai, um, and then heard of the news of the passing of Regina King's son. And then a few days or a week ago, or more than a week ago, I heard of the passing of um, is it Sinead O'Connor's son, 17 year old? And I realized this morning that these, their passing has one thing in common it's uh, the cause and the how. They, three of them committed suicide, and three of them are men, and it, it just, it reminded me about what I always speak about um, in terms of one of men really bottling stuff in a lot um, about um, what people go through and we never know and there's a lot that goes on in my head which I might not be able to say now but I'll say what I possibly can say to the aim is to help someone who's going through stuff um, the aim is to save someone the aim is to help those or make those make aware make some people aware um, of the impact of what words can do, what certain actions can do to other people, to be more kinder, to be more sensitive, to be more understanding. Um, social media is the biggest, biggest cause of suicide because of um, cyberbullying, because of certain apps are about that. Twitter being one of them. Um, TikTok is now going there. TikTok is losing its its fun and 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 the purpose of why it was created. Twitter, it's been normal. The cancel culture, the 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 bullying, the the vileness. Um, and we now live in a generation of happy pictures and sad hearts and dark hearts and dark places and it's really sad but patrick for instance i've known him personally and i could look at this two ways i wouldn't just jump into the conclusion that it's the reason why he committed suicide we never know i don't know he committed suicide could be what happened the last incident, no, but it could be the ultimate enough is enough for him. Or it could not be, it could be a whole lot of things that he was going through, but we don't know. But that reminded us, it's possible that it is that. And what does it say about us? What does it say about us? Um, I watched the video where he was talking about the fight and stuff like that. And still, I saw, I watched it once and I could tell that this was a joke. This was a joke. Um, everything was a joke, including that, but it came out wrong to some to a certain extent, but he apologized. And then, but hey, social media went in. And now we're going to live with, did we, are we responsible? Because we are partly responsible then. Are we going to live with that? We could have avoided that. Um, we listen to songs such as Smile Though Your Heart Is Aching. Now, I'm not just talking about men, I'm talking about human beings. So there are songs that says, Smile Though Your Heart Is Aching. Mm -mm. I disagree. Smile Though Your Heart Is Aching. No, we are 
perpetuating and pushing the ideology of it's okay to smile even if when I'm hurting. No, it's not okay. It's okay not to be okay. I think the reason why I'm still standing is because I am able to, to be not okay and, and be okay with not being okay. I'm not always bubbly. When I'm not okay, I am not okay. When I'm going through financial issues, a lot of people, certain people will definitely know. When I'm going through heartache, breakups, certain people will know. I will not give this. Sarafina Somizi has, has got it all sorted out or figured out. I encourage you to do that for yourself. Don't pretend I'm not saying post your sadness because Instagram, for instance, is about happiness and blah, 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 blah. But I'm saying talk about it. Find that one person, one, guys, one person to talk about what you're going through. I will not sit here and judge people who commit suicide because I, I will never, for the fact that I'm speaking, it means I haven't done it. I would never, even though I have attempted it or, or I have thought about it, I haven't done it. I haven't been successful in it. So I will never know what that person is going through. But all I can do is to stand here and say, Sekai, I will make an example about myself. I have been in situations, situations where I had millions and millions and millions of friends and I lost it all. And I could justify it and say, I will never recover and kill myself. But I tried and scraped on hope. I have been in situations where I was cancelled. I was, I was, um, my, my name was in the mud. And I could have looked at it and said, my career is over. And I scraped, scraped and for the crumbs of hope. And I'm not saying if I can do it, you can do it. No, you are not me. I am not you. But can I try to be the example? Can I try to be the hope? The hope that you might need. I am speaking to you. You in the dark place, in the dark space where the devil and, and, and the negativity is saying it is over. Please. Just at least listen to me and, and think about my story at least before you even even maybe want to try and maybe after thinking about me and my story it might help that's all i can do and to those now i'm talking to the bullies guys you are creating your karma you must know whether you, you try to drag somebody's name into the mud, whether you're trying to, to bully them, whether you're trying to make them feel inferior, whether you're trying to make them feel horrible about themselves, whether you're trying to crush their self-esteem, you must know you will reap what you sow. We can say whatever, stop it, and your conscience doesn't sleep. You will reap what you sow. Your karma will deal with you and it might not find you but it will find your bloodline. <coughs> it will find your bloodline. But I'm just telling you and warning you. And warning you. The words that the, 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 the words that you type behind that keyboard, the, 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 the way you hide behind that keyboard and say vile things, you are reaping. You will reap actually. You will reap. You are plowing and you are my results. You will find the results. Last but not least, I want to pray with you. Short. Father, Baba, what is this? I want to pray with you. All is not lost. All is not bad. All is not doom. You are the Father. And through this, I hope they will feel a little bit of weight coming off and getting off and they'll be able to stand up and walk. All I'm asking is that they stand up and walk. The rest is entirely up to you. Happy Sunday. I love you. I love you. Patrick Shai, may your soul rest in peace. And everyone else that has lost someone through suicide, may their soul rest in peace.
it's trying to do better.